Mr. Lagerfeld, a moment ago you said, you know, if you think too much about the past, your present is secondhand. What did you mean by that? I mean that somebody in a job like mine, or a journalist like Mrs. Menkes, who are in this kind of business for, let's say, a few years, to be nice with ourselves, um, if we think it was better, more interesting before, people more... No, uh, it's us to up to adjust to our times. And the minute you think the past was better, your present is secondhand, and yourself become vintage. Okay, so it's okay for clothes. It's not that great for people. So, uh, can you give us some examples of how you stay connected to the present? Uh, there are not so many different ways to stay connected. You have to be interested in what's going on. You have to read the newspapers. Mm -hmm. uh, I like papers better than to, to, to screens for that. Yeah. Uh, you have to be informed. You must never think that you saw it all. You have always the eyes open. You have to be like a roof with lots of antennas, get all the images, and you don't say, I don't like this because it was better before, this is not chic, this is not elegant. You know, every period has the taste it deserves. Vulgar, not vulgar, we don't know. It's not up to us to be the judge of times. We have to find our place in a period and no times have adjust to us. Up to us to find a decent expression in our job, what is going on, and to have our niche, our voice there, we can try to make as good as we can, even if there are things in the world we don't like in terms of taste and evolution, as we're talking about luxury. But it's very dangerous to think you know it all and the others are wrong. Nobody is wrong, nobody is right. So in this particular moment, that we're living in now, whether it's vulgar or not. What do you find inspiring today, personally? Perhaps even what you can call the vulgarity. Uh, there's so much going on that it's very dangerous also to analyze, because if I do that, uh -huh. I become a marketing person, and I'm very much against that. In French, uh, people could say, what does it marketing? Is it the English word for going to the market? No, no. So, no, 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 I, I don't think in terms like this. I don't analyze. I work with my instinct, uh, if not as a recipe, and I have no recipes. Huh? Uh, so it's all improvised. As I said before to Mrs. Ming, I'm not a serious person. Huh? It's all t going through my head like this, and I try to capture it. But I certainly don't ask myself questions. If I would be pretentious, I would say I try to give answers. I see. So one thing that I noticed that you did recently was the film that you did for Chanel that was set yes. in Saint-Tropez and the Rue yes. Lazare. Can you tell us a little bit, we talked a little bit earlier about the role digital is pay playing in fashion. Yes, but uh, those movies were not digital. Uh, one was digital and the other was a real movie. Right. Uh, uh, I did the one in Saint-Tropez because it's fun to put Chanel, the mood of Chanel, in all kind of circumstances. The one before, it was about Shanghai. She, the only connection with Chanel in China was the, the screens in Coromandel and some Chinese bronze she had in her apartment. But I made the movie like if she had a dream, she was going to Shanghai in her days, but even as an older woman and uh, in, her, in her high days and all that. And it was funny to do. And this movie apparently had a strange effect because two people who are on it were asked to do it in real movies and Lady Harlech now is playing with Bruno Ganz in a very important movie in France and she was discovered in my little movie on internet. And, and, that's, yes. and that's the digital element. And that's yes, yes, we yes, yes, yes. Earlier, no, because right? internet, even if I make the movie with the film, it can be copied for internet. Yeah. Today, everything is possible. We live in a way, uh, in, in an unbelievable period, people forget how fascinating it is. Ten years ago, there was internet was the beginning Maybe it's horrible with all the blackberries and all the other people are half with you and half somewhere else. Do you think all of this internet is good for fashion? You know, good or bad is not up to me to judge it. It is like this. That's right. what people like. That's what people care for. So that's a wave. It will fade away, maybe. Look, the Walkman now, it's like a historical piece for museums. Mm. And when the Walkman was new, everybody wanted a Walkman. Mm. Nobody. Uh, uh, I think children don't know what a Walkman is anymore. Huh? So we are into iPod. All this is today. And when things become too popular, they are always fading away for something else. You know, some people say that the internet takes away the exclusivity of fashion. Do you agree? Yes, with that? but I hate the word of exclusive. You know, expensive things of high quality are exclusive by the price. Mm -hmm. So the copies. It's not good to make copies, perhaps, but if you touch them. 
if you are used to luxury, if you are used to buy couture or even expensive ready-to-wear, all this is unnecessary to say because the quality makes it that luxury is luxury and copies are not luxuries. So it's completely different. But you know also the word of luxury is it's a word was not a little overused because to buy expensive handbag, to buy things expensive called luxury is one thing. But even people in tons of people who buy that don't have a life what you can call a life of luxury. What means private jets and all that. That's in fact the real luxury is limited to very, very few people. People can dream with a Chanel bag that they live in luxury. But luxury in fact is something else. Last question for you, which is you talked in, in the in the conference about digital or kind of technology mm -hmm. devices that you find amazing. Talk to us a little bit about the things that you personally use in your I, life. I, I, f I think they, uh, they are very beautiful. I don't use them because, as I said before, I, I use my brain and it's up to me to imagine. I don't want to have uh, ready-made uh, images. I want to see the images of my imagination. But I know how to do it. All my assistants work with it all the time, so if I need something I can ask them. But I think they are very beautiful objects. There is no touch of what is considered bad taste or bad design, because bad design is bad taste today, they are flawless in a way. Facebook is a flawless object. It's for me like a brown cozy. Thank you so much, Mr. Lagerfeld. And I, as I told you, I got one as a gift in gold, in white gold. And, and the Blackberry too, and, and, also, and the iPad, I have all those from a gift. I wouldn't buy it. Uh, but somebody gave me all those things in white gold. They're beautiful objects on the table. They are stunning. Yeah. I don't use them because uh, I don't have to use them. Thank you so much. Okay.